Dear friends, this YouTube message is for all teenagers and youth all over the world. What is the teenagers and youth role in society? It is basically to grow. Now I would like to analyze the word grow. The first letter G stands for godliness. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1, God wants teenagers to remember him in the days of the youth so that they may have the blessing of a long life. They also develop lifelong habits. They need a solid foundation of faith to build upon so that when hard time comes in life, they, they will know how to pray and trust in God. In 1st letter of Timothy chapter 4 verse 12, Paul says, Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. The second letter of the word grow, R, stands for respect, responsibility. Young people should show proper respect to their parents. They also ought to display respect and thoughtfulness towards their brothers, sisters and extended family, treating them how they would like to be treated, like the golden rule in Matthew chapter 7 verse 12, which says, in everything do to others as you would have them do to you. The third letter uh, uh, of the word grow is O. O stands for obedience. It's appalling sometimes to see uh, how often teenagers and youth fail to show proper respect towards adults. The Bible speaks of the obligation of all people to respect those in authority. In Exodus chapter 20 verse 12, the need to obey and honor one's parents is especially emphasized. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 1 says, A wise son or daughter listens to their father's advice, but a mocker listens to no correction. Colossians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is your acceptable duty in the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. The fourth, letter, fourth and the last letter of the word grow is W, which stands for work. During teenage and youth, individuals learn to develop a good work ethic. It, it's critically important for one uh, uh, for our young people to learn how to work hard as well as develop practical skills this way they will eventually become independent and self sufficient second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10 says verse 10 says uh, uh, for even when we were with you we gave you the commandment Anyone unwilling to work should not eat. God bless us all. Uh, bless us all. God bless all our youth, uh, boys and girls. Amen. If this we, we message is good for you all, please send us your likes and your comments on this video.